Good evening, everyone. Brendan from Starpoint Australis. Hey, thanks for joining me on this Wednesday update. Uh, Tuesday got a little bit hectic and we didn't get home till a lot later than we expected. So I wasn't able to do the Wednesday or the Tuesday update. But today we'll do that. So what have we got going on? We've got, uh, let's talk quickly about the Octans and Phoenix. So the Octans and Phoenix are in manufacturer. Um, the material came in, it's the correct material this time, which is great. Um, we are just waiting for them to finish their manufacturing now. So once again, hoping for the first week in September to have my, uh, my time to make sure that they've got everything as it needs to be and doing my checks. Um, also our um, QA, QC people will be there throughout the whole manufacturing process this time. So let's hope everything goes well. What else have we got? We've got the SP3. Um, SP3, um, obviously you can see the actual focuser itself in the middle, uh, nice and finished, but then you've got these nice shiny silver bits. So these are the last pieces that I've been working on to, what could you say, make sure that everything works well um, and we know exactly what we need to do. So I got into the workshop on the weekend <coughs> and I made the first lot of three, um, just getting my process down for making these. And you see, you're getting pretty good at making threads and whatnot. But uh, we made three two-inch eyepiece holders. Uh, have a look around in there. So they look quite nice, nice and uh, industrial. Uh, so that you've got a nice thumb knobs to hold on to. Um, who loves a bit of good bit of knurling on there? Um, so yeah, two-inch eyepiece holders. Even though the SP3 itself is going to be more of a an imaging or astrophotography uh, focuser, we still need to do collimation. So uh, the two-inch eyepiece makes that work quite well. Um, you can also drop in a little one and a quarter-inch eyepiece holder into those, uh, which uh, allows for those other sizes of collimation tools. Uh, what else have we got? Um, playing around a little bit with the um, adapters. So for those of you who need a little bit of extra space out, so we give just on, uh, was it, uh, just on 20 mil um, movement for these. So the spaces are required um, so that you can get your imaging plane in the exact right spot. Um, it helps with the stability of the focuser and whatnot. What else have we got? <clears throat> Dan and I have been working um, quite diligently over the last couple of weeks to ensure that the firmware, the ASCOM driver um, is all talking and working together. We're working on a few extra little pieces in there as well because one of the big things that I hear all the time from people that I tutor, mentor, so to speak, is how do I figure out the, the initial step size for autofocusing routines? So Dan and I are working on a a graphic visual that you can work through and it'll prompt you step by step by step. Go here, get this number, put that number into here and it'll give you that great starting point. The second part of that is then we're going to start teaching you, you know, if your graph does this, if your graph does that and it's kind of distilling into that ASCOM driver, um, a, a Brendan, so to speak, sitting right there with you. So you can start to get these uh, focuses working absolutely sweet. So really excited about that because in all, in all realistic, I'm gonna start delivering these out probably within the next couple of weeks, uh, which is really, really exciting. What else have we got? Ah, so we've, I guess, been recognized a little bit. So the Joondalup, uh, Business Association, uh, we were requested to nominate into um, into that awards uh, for Best Business of the Year awards. So Dan, Jess and I are really excited. Uh, the nomination's been submitted um, and on the 24th um, of this month, the, the actual awards night will happen. So here's hoping we do well, but at the end of the day, even even just being asked to nominate by a, a specific, I was an economic business development manager, they, they said that what we had done previous, so we won a little award uh, for pitching and whatnot. 
and um, yeah, they were there, they were watching us and that's where it came from. So I think that in itself is the win. So we'll celebrate those wins. Whoop. Um, hopefully many more to come. Other than that, it's just been raining consistently over here. So Dan and myself have not been able to do any testing whatsoever. I mean, Carlos, I don't know, our ambassador Carlos somehow finds gaps in the sky, but he does have a little um, roll off roof observatory and doesn't really sleep. Um, I, I seem to be able to message him at any time of the day and he'll respond quite soon. All right, well, other than that, um, you'll see that uh, we've now got our little bit of, I mean, we had this last week, but uh, the computer screens are on now. Uh, the computer's all working, which is great. And uh, the little, our little uh, video studio, you could say, we're still getting used to it. Um, you'll notice this time as well, uh, for those of you that are on YouTube and those of you that are um, seeing and watching us via like Instagram or Facebook, you'll notice that I, I haven't cut off. Uh, I stuffed up last week in my update. Um, I only shot in portrait, I think it was, well, sorry, landscape, but I needed portrait, but I was too far away and it just got all too messy. So uh, we've kind of fixed that but it's uh, becoming more of a studio now. So, all right then guys, well, we'll leave you to it and uh, hopefully we'll get some great content uh, of us building things over this weekend. And uh, I really look forward to showing you what I get up to. All right, till then, stay safe and hopefully where you are has some clear skies so you can take some amazing photos. See ya.